So my son is now smiling and able to laugh when I tickle him. And it makes me feel, uh, uh, what's the best way to describe it? Anything's possible. Anything's possible! Yeah, that's it. It's football season, which is very exciting for me. Um, but being a new dad, I have started to reevaluate how I think of the NFL as a whole. I'm talking about the injuries, the players versus owners controversy, and all the off the field, just garbage behavior. Relax, I know it's a comedy show, I'm just sharing a bit, okay? But I've also started to think about if I'll let my son play when he is of age. Now, football to me was huge. I played all my life from five years old through college. Uh, and there are some things of mine that I definitely want to pass on to my son. For instance, my calves. Um, but I'm not sure I want him to have the same brain damage that his pops does, you know what I mean? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Now obviously I want my kid to play sports because it teaches teamwork and discipline and it gives me a chance to relive my glory days. Five seconds on the clock, quarterback throws a Hail Mary and I'm thinking to myself, man, I wish I was in this game. Anyway, in future episodes, we're going to do a segment called Do As I Say, Not As I Did. So in the comments, let me know what things you did as a kid that you definitely do not want your children doing now. And who knows, maybe I'll give you a shout out on a future episode. Like Ronnie Chang, who said he doesn't want to let his kids watch Total Recall. I'm assuming he meant the remake with Colin Farrell because the original was awesome. Now, open your mind to me. <laughs> okay, maybe neither are right for kids or people in general, but it brings us to our next topic, movies. My wife never watched The Goonies growing up, and between you and me, it makes me seriously doubt her ability to raise our child. Now, obviously there are new children's movies coming out all the time, I'm sure they're fine, eh. but I'm looking forward to sharing the movies of my childhood with my son someday. I'm talking about Sandlot, Princess Bride, Home Alone, Never Ending Story, All Dogs Go to Heaven, My Girl, Gremlins, The Witches, Jack the Bear, Radio Flyer. I had a dark childhood. Anyway, help me out here. On my quest to be the best dad ever, I am compiling a list of movies to eventually show my son. Uh, so in the comments, let me know what movies from your childhood you've gone back and rewatched with your kids. Um, okay, before we get into our next segment, a quick word from our sponsor. What's poppin' on the dad? Now, for all you HGTV lovers out there, which is everyone, whether you admit it or not, uh, the dad has a new parody of the show Fixer Upper, but this one is about finding a meal that your toddler will actually eat. Our daughter's got her reservations, but if I know mom, she's gonna throw on them front burners and really blow her socks off. That was weird. I use that for the opening. That was good. That was good. We're mom and dad. Bud, come taste this. Mmm, love it, babe. And we take the pickiest eater and do the best we can to try to make our child's dream meal. Do you have the guts to fix your supper? Our final segment today is called My Kid is Better Than Your Kid. That's right, I'm literally inviting you to brag about your child here. Because let's be honest, no one wants to hear about it anywhere else, okay? Each week, I will highlight one dad submitted video uh, and give that dad bragging rights for, you know, the rest of their life. And, and send me some good stuff, okay? Don't send me the crap your kid does. I don't know, it's not all good. Uh, I want stuff like this. Awesome, bud. That's impressive. So, if your kid is worth bragging about, not all of them are, let's be honest, uh, submit your videos here, and maybe you will get featured in a future episode. Okay, that's all I got for you today. I'm Rob King, thank you for watching Paternity Leave. We'll see you next time. Tell the truth.